going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about Xbox One, about January sales, and kind of what we've expected. Things have turned around dramatically for the Xbox over the last four or five months. It seems like they've kind of settled back into their old position, and things are kind of going the way they've been going for a majority of this console generation, and I will drop a link in the description. Xbox One faces a familiar sales story in January. This is starting to become a tradition. Microsoft announces record sales of its Xbox One consoles, but still manages to fall short of the PlayStation 4. Quote, Thanks to continued support by our fans, 2017 is off to a strong start as Xbox One games' hours grew 21% year over year. In addition, in the US, Xbox One had its best January to date and was the only 8th generation console that saw growth in January compared to the prior year according to the NPD group. Team Xbox is committed to delivering the best gaming experiences for our fans, end quote, said Mike Nichols, who is Corporate Vice President of Xbox. You'll notice what Microsoft doesn't say there, that Xbox One was the best-selling console in January. And yes, that's because Sony's PlayStation 4 once again took the crown. This is based on NPD data, meaning it's accurate in the US only. As you may recall, Xbox One experienced its, quote, biggest month ever for sales in the U.S., end quote, in December, and that like this past month, it was the only current generation console with year-over-year -year growth, and yet it fell short in December, too, and in November as well. Yikes. As I noted last month, the silver lining is that Xbox One looks great if you look at the wider time period. Xbox One somehow outsold PS4 over the second half of 2016, for example. But with years of defeats at the hands of the PS4, I think it's time to just admit that Xbox One is never going to catch up. Not in this console generation. The question then is whether that's okay. I think it is. The market for dedicated video game consoles seems quite strong, and while no one should be happy with a 2 to 1 deficit when compared to the market leader, the approximately 25 million Xbox One consoles out in the world is nothing to be embarrassed by. That's a solid business, but more important, Xbox One sales have outpaced those of its predecessor during a similar time period, and the Xbox 360 went on to sell 80 million units. Microsoft will need at least three consoles, the original Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and Project Scorpio to get there. But so what? Sony has already released three PS4 revisions itself. Things have changed. Obviously, I'd like to see the Xbox One perform better against the PS4, but this isn't Windows Phone all over again. Not even close. I 100% agree here. Uh, Microsoft won't catch up with PlayStation, but they will do extremely well. And of course, we're going to see another Xbox after the Xbox Scorpio. Uh, last month, there were reports of the Xbox One hitting 26 million consoles sold. And that is pretty much a 2 to 1 deficit, uh, you know, against the PlayStation 4. But it's still nothing to scoff at. I don't know. It's possible that they could outsell the Xbox 360. To me, it seemed like the 360, in my mind, my memory anyway, was doing better, but obviously it was not. The the seven generation console life cycle lasted like eight years. We're only in the like year three, three and a half right now, so we, we got plenty of time for this thing to really hit its stride. And I think the Xbox Scorpio is going to make some really big differences when it comes to those sales numbers. But I think overall, until at least Microsoft comes out with new and meaningful uh, you know, first party games and exclusives, the Xbox One is going to always play second fiddle. The end of the year, we're going to see if there's going to be that difference, that one that everybody is really hoping for in the Xbox community, that the Xbox Scorpio is the most powerful console on the market and is able to make games look and run and play better than even the PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm optimistic. I will own my Xbox Scorpio. I have a PS4 Pro now. So the future is bright for gaming. The future is bright for Xbox. And it's very bright for PlayStation. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think the Xbox One brand will outsell and outpace the Xbox 360 by the end of its life cycle? Now, they're saying that the life cycles won't be as long. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. Check out my website, guys. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Take off.